All right, so this is uh, video documentation of how I set up and how I'll install LED, a wireless LED control in a half inch scale theatrical model. But really, this is useful for any type of LED installation for theater, architectural, special events, kinds of, of lighting effects. So what we have here is a bunch of devices, um, a bunch of units and things. Let's start with a wireless router. I'm gonna need that for the wireless component of this. Uh, I got a 12 volt, 10 amp power supply. This here is a 30 channel DMX controlled controller. I'm using it for LEDs, which is this spool here. And up here um, is a stack of shields on top of an Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno is actually doing all of the processing. It's interpreting the signals, which I'll ultimately send from my tablet. And it'll process those signals and then send them out via DMX, which is a lighting protocol. So real quick, this stack over here, this orange one on top, that is a Tinkerkit DMX shield. Second, in the middle here is a ethernet shield. That's so that I can get Ethernet or ArtNet is actually what it's called uh, communications to this stack of units and then on the bottom is the Arduino Uno that is receiving power through that red cord at the moment. So kind of signal flow or path, signal path is ultimately my tablet will talk to the router. The router will then get signal, send it down the blue cord to the Ethernet card on top of the Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno will process it, send it into DMX protocol, which is really just serial, down this black wire into this LED controller, which will then activate the channels. Now this is 30 channels. I have one little spool of LEDs, red, green, and blue. Um, so I'm only using the first three channels, but I could do 10 different strips and control them independently. Everything is on at the moment. Um, now what I'm gonna do there's plenty of different software available, but um, OSRAM, they have a, OSRAM has a DMX controller Android app, which is quite nice, and it says that I am connected to my ArtNet node, so it has communication with that. And what you can see is I've specified in the software 24 channels, so I have a little slider for each one of the 24 of 30. I don't need the extra six. So simply touch screen, which is nice. Um, you know, as I slide this up, oh, come on, I can start changing the colors and it's completely wireless, which is so nice. And again, let's see if I can do this. Need three hands. You can see that it's completely wireless. Really nice for what we're trying to do or I'm trying to do. Again, I'm going to integrate this into a half inch scale theatrical model. So I'll have 30 channels worth of lighting control, which should be plenty. Um, really neat uh, concept. Um, well, I'll put in the details just uh, where I got the resources for this and the materials that I had to acquire. But, uh, you know, this is the first proof of concept, if you will. Um, but it will certainly add a lot of capabilities and the cost for all of this, um, I think I have $40 into the LED controller, 15 for the power supply, wireless router I had, but you can pick those up cheap. It doesn't even have to be fast because all you're trying to do is send DMX signal, which is not much data. The Tinker Kit controller on top there was about eight. The uh, networking shield, that one in the middle there, that was, I want to say, eight or nine. And the Arduino Uno on the bottom was uh, also eight or nine. That was a clone, not the real Arduino, but it does seem to work just fine. Um, and then some miscellaneous little bits of cable and power, uh, power wires. But, oh, and then however much LED that you need, um, that's to be determined by your application. 
So just sharing this, I will, uh, I will post in the comments a little bit more details with regard to how it was set up. But uh, pretty cost effective for this because I can tell you right now, what's happening from this little stack of Arduino components, which was about $25 or so, uh, to give it a pre-manufactured product that does something similar will run you upwards of $150. So big cost savings if you're savvy with Arduino and programming a little bit. All right, I'm going to let you go for now. Check the comments for uh, more details.